Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, by the grace of Allah, I can utter those words again. I honestly was convinced that I will never speak them again. To all my Muslim brothers and sisters, Salamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much for your support over the past few weeks. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without you guys. And this is not just some random saying, because if you've been following this channel, you know that I ended up in a hospital. I've been struggling with my health for many, many years. To be totally honest, for the past 10 years, I've been battling with my health, which then led me to different diet paths, be it veganism, be it the carnivore diet, be it the primal diet, or many spiritual practices and what not. I wanted to attain ultimate health. However, my health kept on relapsing, especially the last year has been very hard. I've been battling an autoimmune disorder and I've been prescribed certain autoimmune medication as well, which I had to take on a daily basis just in order to live with the symptoms ultimately. The symptoms stretch from absolutely excruciating pain in my bones. I couldn't properly close my hands swollen ankles, always returning fevers and what not. It was very, very tough, but nevertheless, alhamdulillah, I was able to take care of my family, I was able to take care of my two children, and I was able to create this YouTube channel. Moreover, even though I was struggling, I was still able to go to the gym and even compete and win in a jiu-jitsu tournament. All of this boils down to essentially my God-given drive, alhamdulillah for it, but at the same time it is to my detriment as well. Because I have such a high pain threshold, I simply did not listen to my body. And therefore I was pushing it, pushing it, redlining it. I did an enormous weight cut for the competition. I was consistently dieting, working out, not listening to the symptoms, masking them essentially with the medication, just pushing further and further and further. And then when it came down to Ramadan, fasting, still working out, my body just gave up. And this then led to an infection of my lung. Matter of fact, when the doctors checked it, they found three different bacteria that infested my lung. That infection then in turn led to pneumonia, accompanied by 40 degrees Celsius fever for a few days. And unfortunately, my body was not able to cope with that infection and therefore the bacteria traveled further into the blood, which then led to sepsis. That sepsis started attacking my organs, first and foremost, the kidneys. So when I made it to the hospital, they told me that my condition is absolutely critical. And yes, I could have died in that hospital. What happened then is they plugged an infusion into my veins and flushed my whole system with two different antibiotics electrolytes, glucose, and what not. I was a whole week in that hospital receiving treatment, alhamdulillah. Anyways, the reason why I make this video, aside from giving you a life sign, of course, is to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because you truly saved my life. Yeah, silly me, I end up in the hospital without an insurance and you can imagine staying a week in the hospital here can be quite pricey. So thanks to you guys, thanks to your donations via buymeacoffee.com, you truly saved my life by the grace of Allah. I'm not very good at thank you speeches, but I want to tell you that I'm not taking this for granted, that I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Without you guys, God knows what would have happened in that hospital. Thank you so much for being there with me. If not physically, spiritually, digitally, call it what you will, you are there for me. I will never forget that. Reverts know how lonely it can be as a new Muslim, and especially during Ramadan, it is absolutely lonesome, of course, because you're fasting alone. Therefore, when I end up in the hospital, I had you guys with me. Anyways, as I said, this is just a quick life sign. And now at the moment, I'm recovering. Alhamdulillah, it is still very hard. I'm not going to be able to train. I'm taking it very, very easy. I'm going to document, inshallah, as much as I can about my recovery. Right now, I'm resting. I'm eating very, very healthy. A lot of nutritionally dense foods, bone broth, etc., to recover completely. And then, inshallah, maybe next month, I can slowly but surely return to training if Allah permits it. Moreover, there are a lot of family issues that I'm sorting out right now behind the scenes. I'm not going to talk about this here in the open on YouTube. If you want to know more about it, I'm talking about it in my Telegram group only for my patrons, of course. Anyways, again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Inshallah, we will return to more content soon. May Allah bless you all. 
much love and peace. Ya nafsu illam tadfari la tajzai Ah